right, everybody. I hope you are doing well. This is Casey here. I am going to do a multiple time frame analysis on Euro Odd. I am looking solely at technicals today. And um, I just want to see a little bit what we got going on. So uh, for those of you who are new to the channel, the way that I start off my analysis is just by identifying um, swing high and swing lows on every time frame. And so you're probably wondering like, what's a swing high? What's a swing low? <laughs> well, it's a five candle formation that um, signifies an area where price could uh, have high probability to change directions. And you'll be able to go in and easily identify this as five candles. You have a high center point, two lower candles to the left and two lower candles to the right. The swing low is simply the inverse. You have a low center candle, two candles to the right that are, excuse me, higher, excuse, two candles to the left that are higher, low center point candle, and then two candles to the right that are higher. So that's what I'm going to go in and look for. Um, I am using the Smart Trader platform today. You are more than welcome to take a look at it um, for $4.95 for 30 days. Just click the link below the video. I like it. I like the smart technology. Um, I think it is very user friendly for beginners. Helps you quickly identify your highs, your lows, your smart fibs, so you don't have to manually go in and do it. However, I do suggest that you do learn how to do it so that... Um, so that you you know what you're looking at. So I start off on the higher time frame. I'm gonna look at the week, weekly. I think it gives me more than enough information of what I'm looking for. And I go through and I identify my swing highs and swing lows. Now, what's really cool about Smart Trader is that I can go in and say, okay, show me smart support. It identifies the areas for me. And then I go in and just pick the most significant areas and I drop my, my line so I can do my analysis. So when I say most significant areas, you see it popped up four different lines for me. I know I don't want all four of those right now. Um, I just need the most significant ones. So I'm going to identify stream high, stream low. Then I'm going to drop down to the next time frame, do the same thing all over again. Now I color code in Smart Trader because I don't have the capability to put text how I did in Trading View, which is fine. Um, and so blue is just my weekly. Uh, identification. So I'm going to drop down to the daily and I'm going to take a look at what I got going on. So what I do is I've identified my low and then I want to see my next significant high. So I've got a low, we got a high here and then a pull back here, uh, which if I look left, I have support here, support here. This was resistance here. So I think I want to identify this area as my next area of potential support. I'm gonna change this over because I am on the daily and mark this off for daily. Then I gotta find my next high. Um, and this is actually probably really, really extreme. So I'm just gonna copy this and drop another high. Uh, where did it go? Where did it go? Actually, I'm gonna grab the line tool and just knock it out. Excuse me. This is probably more within the realm right now, change this over to weekly because that's a weekly level too. Now I want to identify within the bounds of this, this blue area where my next high is. So I actually have a swing high right here for the, for the, uh, daily. So I'm going to go ahead and drop it. You see, I got the five candle formation. I got a high center candle, two candles to the left that are lower, two candles to the right that are lower. I'm going to go ahead and change this over. And mark this as my daily. Then I'm going to drop down even further. Do the same thing over again. So I'm going to go down to the four hour. And take a look. And we got the last low. This is a zone here. Because you know price comes to a zone and not a line. So this is a zone here. This was my last low. I have a low. Then I have my next high. Next significant high here. And then a pull back here. And if I look, I'm going to drop a line so y'all can see what I'm seeing. I'm seeing support here, support here, support here, and resistance back here. Resistance, resistance. So I'm going to mark this off. I want to pay attention to this area. This is going to be my four-hour support. Um, and then I just want to identify my four-hour resistance. So I got a high here, a low here, a pullback at this area, 
And I believe that I want to choose this as my four hour resistance. So I will do that. Now I can go lower, look on the hour time frame, see what we got going on. I am a swing trader. So uh, my trades tend to last a little bit longer than most. Um, and what I'm looking at here would be, you know, where you could find shorter setups and opportunities. So I see my low here. I see my next high at this point. I see a pull back here. So I think, let me just drop this and see what we're looking at. Um, I like this. Let me change this over to, uh, I'm sorry, my, what am I on? The one hour hourly. So we'll go ahead and put it there. And then if I look left, so I, I chose this area cause I have these lows. I could drop it down a little bit further just to, you know, um, and it's probably should be further anyway, because if I look here, I have swing lows here. This is support. This is support. This is support. This is resistance right here. If I keep going left, this is resistance. This is an area of support. Um, this is resistance resistance so that's the area and resistance right here that's the area i want to pay attention to as my hourly and um there's probably another hourly in here too let me see i got my high my low my pullback so this will be my next area for hourly okay and so i want to go back to the higher time frame because i mentioned to you guys that um what i liked about this technology was a smart fib technology and so i just want to see if we have hit um, our extensions to the downside and if we are starting to make a move back up and so what we have here on the higher time frame is um we have a high we have a low we have a pullback right here that is less than 23.6 more often than not, when we have that happen, we see um, price stall out at the 118 and the 127, which is exactly what we have here. When we have this happen, we see price make for a deeper retracement to the upside. So um, long term, what I see for this is uh, price pulling back to make a deeper retracement. And so... Um, I want to mark off this area here. Actually, I'm going to draw a little zone. 618 is our sweet spot. Price could definitely exceed that for sure. It definitely could. I'm not saying it'll stop here, but I know that this is a sweet spot area and that, um, hold on, visual order, bring to front. Yeah. And I know that price could react at this level. So I want to identify it. And then I also want to identify too, because we could also see price react uh, at the 38.2, which would be here. Right. So these are areas I want to pay attention to before we see a continuation to the downside or price could even continue up, break this high and continue upward. So um, we've hit an extension to the downside. So now what I think price is doing is retracing. So I'm going to, uh Oh, I'm going to, excuse me, delete this fib tool. Y'all I got on my glasses and still having trouble seeing. Ain't that funny? <laughs> I'm deleting the wrong stuff. Bear with me one second. Let me get this off my chart and then we can finish this out. Let me, Oh Lord. <laughs> bear with me y'all I'm gonna get this off let me go down what am I on weekly let me go down to daily let me go down to the daily lord have mercy oh there we go I was about to say <laughs> so the larger move of what we possibly could see is the pull back to one of these levels and then a continuation down to uh, and look I just got rid of the fib <laughs> what we can see is, uh, I'm going to draw this out so y'all can follow me. What we could see is a larger move and we would see it move in waves, not like a straight line up. So I'm going to try to signify that. Um, we could see, let me make this thicker. <clears throat> okay. So we could see price make its way back up 
to, and this is not, I'm not saying this is exactly how it will move. I am just trying to illustrate the point that the market moves in waves. Um, so we could see something like this where price makes a continuation to the upside, hits the 38.2 and could travel down. Let me back this out. And we could see a continuation to that D extension, uh, the 618. Hold on, let me hold on, hold on, y'all. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> let me go back up because I'm missing something here. There we go. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> so on the, the FIB carries down and it breaks it down on a smaller scale. So on the larger scale, uh, we could see price continue up to the 38.2 or we could see price go all the way up to the 618. And again, price doesn't move just straight up and down for illustration purposes. I am just drawing, you know, this out. Um, we could see something like this long term. This is very, very, very long term. This is not something that I anticipate will play out overnight. But if we got the pull back to the 38.2 to the matching D extension, assuming that we got that break, we're looking at 3,700 pips from the from the weekly 38.2 on uh the 618 you're looking at 4500 pips to the downside and that's assuming that price breaks this last low you know so we got to go back up and get some more momentum to see if um we're going to get that drop or if we're going to change directions altogether um and start heading to the upside long term but i think comfortably I could trade up to the 38.2, uh, knowing that, you know, we're getting a, like I'm confident in that direction right now. So you're looking at roughly 1500 pip opportunity on Euro odd. Um, let me just break down uh, to the upside if we have any matching extensions. Let me see if I have a fib here. So I'm gonna grab my smart fib tool just to see what we got going on. And isn't that funny? Um, okay, so we have an A, a B boundary. Price is pulling back to a C right now. And the D extension to the upside is uh, at 1.7. And my target, my initial target is right around that 1.74. So we could see, you know, a completion here, then a pullback to here or we could see price make its way up but let me go up just one more i don't think we have a fib here yet no nope, because we don't have a swing high so let me go back to the weekly let's see this lines up though you know uh we could see a move like this and then another pull back and then continuation to this zone um, but let me get this off. Oh, here we go with these fibs again, right? So let me let me just go down to the lower time frame. So we're on the weekly. Let me go down to the daily and see what's going on. So I'm gonna draw just my trend lines to see. So I go from swing low to swing low. And just take it straight out. I don't cut through candles or anything like that. I'm going to change this back to a solid. And change it to a gray. And I'm going to leave it uh, the size that it is so you can see it. Um, because what I would be looking for is first just to see if we get a break past. And it looks like we are. Yeah. It looks like we did. So let me get rid of this. Hold on. And I'm just going to use my smart trend line tool to make sure that I drew this correctly. But I believe that I did. It looks like we're getting a break of this trend line to the upside. Uh, let me get my smart trend line. Yeah. Oh, it's even tighter than what I drew. So let me extend this out. Yep, we did. We got the break. We got the pullback. Let me see. Nope, on the daily, I don't think we have a swing high yet. Let me go down to the four hour. We don't have a high yet either. Let me see. 
We had, oh, we just hit an extension. Okay, so what I did, I just pulled out my um, Fibonacci tool to see where we were. So we had an A, a B uh, boundary. We had a pull back to the 50% Fibonacci line. So if I had, I hadn't traded this, so I didn't catch this, but this was a pullback. I would have known I could trade um, to the upside for 167 pips. So price has hit a D extension. What we're waiting for now is for price to form a high, um, a swing high, which is a five candle formation. Wait for it to pull back. And then at this point, I think I possibly would be looking for an entry on the buy. Um, I'm just gonna take this down and actually move this out. Because we've already, price has already done its thing when we go to our inner trend line, like we've already broken that and extended. Um, so I'm taking it to the next outer. Um, so let me see, I'm gonna get my manual fib for this, uh, assuming that this becomes a new low. And let's say we do get a high in this area. This pullback level does wind up or line up the 61.8 zone lines up for a potential buy opportunity. Um, let me delete this. And then if I look across, so I've identified it with the Fibonacci tool, and then I'm just looking at what we have here. This was an area of support in the past and an area of resistance and look where our hourly falls into play. It is a, just a smidget off. I think that's about 60 pips or so. Um, but depending on if this is gonna be our low. So we really have to wait for a pullback to happen because it looks like we've hit an extension on the lower time frame. So I would wait for a pullback and then look for buy opportunities because I think that I am bullish on this pair for at least, hold on, let me go up. I think I'm bullish on this pair at least for the next, um, uh, what is this? For the next 13, what did I say? 14, 1500 pips? Yeah. Yep. I think I'm bullish on this for a little bit because we've hit an extension to the downside. And once we hit extension, we know that price has to retrace. So, um, I'm bullish. I'm just waiting on an opportunity for a buy. Uh, my thought is that um, we will probably see something like this. Oh, hold on. Let me delete this because that's not pretty. And those of y'all who watch the channel, y'all know I don't like no messy chart. So I think we'll probably get a pullback. And let me change this over. Oh, Lord. Jesus, I can't get. <laughs> oh, here we go. I was looking for my window to change the color. So I got the color change. And then I'm gonna knock this out here. So I'd be looking for, cause we've broken above this level. We're expecting price to pull back at this point. And then I'd be looking for a continuation to the upside. Um, I think, I think, don't, don't say, she told me to, I took a trade based off of what you said. No, you need to do your own analysis and you need to figure it out for yourself. This is my view and what I think we could potentially see. But this is what I think we may see, um, something like this. So I'm curious what you think and what is your bias on this pair? Where are you at? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Do y'all even trade this? <laughs> I'm curious. Let me know uh, in the comment section below. If you are looking for a group of like-minded individuals, you're looking for a no-cost opportunity in order to learn um, our methodology and how we trade, Make sure you click the link below that uh, says join my no cost Forex group. Uh, you you want to complete the information. Please check your email inboxes and your spam. Nine times out of 10, you have been sent the link. It just wound up in your spam box um, and you should get a link to the group. And um, yeah. So, and then also uh, Ryan, Benny and I have a no cost training that is coming up um, October 23rd. 
and I'm very excited about it. The last time we had about 200 people come and this time I'm hoping to have just an awesome, awesome, awesome event like we did before. Uh, it is first come first serve. So if you have not signed up for it already, you wanna make sure you follow the link below that says all day, no cost training, October 23rd. Complete that form and uh, reserve your seat today. And then if this video was helpful to you in any way, consider subscribing to the channel. Um, we'd be more than happy to have you. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Have an awesome evening. Bye.